Hi, this is Ehsan Shamsi, and today I'm going to create a digital animated clock in 3ds Max. Today's tutorial is really easy. The only thing that I'm going to use, the only uh, tool that I'm going to use is Text Plus, which is kind of new in 3ds Max. So you just need to make sure you have at least Max 2016 plus all the extension packs installed on your system. All right, that said, let's get started. As a first step, I'm going to create a text plus. Now let's delete the text. Here, push this button, set value as text. All right. Our first value is four seconds. So I just simply type seconds or second anyway. To create seconds, I can use either a script or an expression. Uh, for now, I'll just stick to a script, hit edit, a window pops up, and simply type S. S is a predefined variable in max for seconds. Hit evaluate and see what do we have so far. Nothing. There is nothing in our viewport because there is nothing in our text area. So we can simply use this button, insert in text. And there you go. Now we have our seconds. What just happened? I don't know. Oh, all right. I don't know. And two digits is enough. As you see, everything is working just fine, but there is a tiny problem here. If I extend the timeline here, All right, after second 59, we expect our clock to, z to reset to zero. But as you see, it's 60, 61, 62. It just increases with no end. So obviously we need to change our script a little bit. For that, I use a function called mod, which stands for modulus. Modulus is a term is in mathematics and well, you know, I don't want to get into details. I won't uh, get into boring stuff. You just need to know that modulus uh, sets a maximum amount for a variable. And when the variable reaches that amount, uh, it resets automatically. All right. Mod S and Let's enter 60 as our maximum value and let's evaluate that and see what happens. 57, 58, 59, and zero, just as we expected. All right, now for the milliseconds, we will add another value, we call it ms, which stands for milliseconds. And then again, a script, hit edit, this time, we multiply um, the seconds by a thousand. Evaluate and again, insert in text. See what happens. Again, the same problem. We just need to use another modulus function. I simply define a variable and I'll use mod function on that very variable. Evaluate. And there you go. All right, uh, for the milliseconds, we have four digits. We don't need that, we just need three digits and the seconds are good and now uh, let's give it a give it some sort of uh, digital appearance by just changing the font digital 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 all right let's give it some depth relax 
and maybe a simple material. All right, and for the minute, an hour, uh, I think it can be a good practice for you to do it for yourself. And if you follow the same procedure, you may end up something like this. It's something, it's a scene that I've done before. It has everything, it has milliseconds, seconds, minutes, and hours. And everything works just fine. All right, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.